What up? It's Tammy Tate 2009 and I'm here again with a new Thomas Wood unboxing video. I never thought I'd do another one. It's been quite a while. My last video was um, Ryan and Scruffy. But do you recall when Mattel made a Thomas Wood Henry in 2019? Now I thought that was very nice of Mattel. Ever since Thomas Wood came out, we've all been asking for Edward and Henry and Mattel um, must have heard our requests and have come to um, give them. So um, we got Henry here. He looks very great as another wood engine. I made a custom Thomas Wood Henry before, but this is way better. So for those of you who want to buy Henry, he's on Amazon and he's about $16. Unless if you have the interest of Henry. Some of you may prefer the wooden railway Henry, but I like this new wood line. And recently they're making a new 2021 Thomas reboot, which is a 2D animation this time. And the characters might be redesigned. So I don't know if they're still going to make Thomas Wood or if they're going to make a new um, merchandise. I don't know, but I hope that they make more wood in the future. Because I would like Donald and Douglas soon if they... Um, because it's been a while since they made a wood Donald and Douglas. The last we got was the wooden railway versions of Donald and Douglas, and that was it. And most of you may recall that I made a custom wood Edward, but recently I got so many comments saying that there's a new 2020 wood Edward, and I'm fully aware of that. I knew there was an Edward since the beginning. So um, recently they showed pictures of Edward, as well as Toby, which I don't have yet. But I think I might get him one day if you guys ask me. And what if I told you that they have made Thomas Wood 2020 Edward, as you are about to find out. Now, before we uh, pull him out, I want to say that after this video, I might talk about some stuff for the future and some ideas for the E2 family. And now, without further ado, I invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as I, Tammy Tate 2009, proudly present... Thomas Wood Edward. So here he is in all his glory. And you don't know how lucky I am to be the first person to ever buy Edward. Like Henry, he's on Amazon for $16. Now, originally he was about $13, but his price hired. It's something about algorithms on Amazon. Now on the back, sadly we don't get a character description and info about Edward or even the picture which is kind of sad and weird in my opinion. We just get a multi-language somewhat of Edward's name. So of course we got the English Edward name. And on the side here, there's a different language. It says Edward. Spanish. And there's Edward. Edic. I don't know what language this is and I don't know how to say this word. And I don't know how to pronounce this word. So that's some um, okay, but I wish that there was a um, picture of Edward right here in a bio here. If you guys think that, say so in the comments. That's just an opinion and a criticism. But I do like how Edward's icon is on the box. Like, that's just so amazing that Mattel did. 2 plus is an okay age, because these will not be choking hazards of what... But if you have two-year-olds playing with this, there's a likely chance that they're going to scratch up the paint on this. I've seen a lot of um, wooden railway engines get scratched a lot, and some engines look to be in poor condition. They suffer from paint loss, I mean. But enough of me talking. Let's open Edward up. All right, so let's talk about Edward now that he's out. So the tender is pretty generic. I mean, it's the same as Edward, but it kind of looks like Gordon's tender, but with Edward's decals, which is cool. The number two looks great here. It's um, a lot like the Edward tender. So I kind of like how Mattel made Edward. Edward's one of my favorite characters. So let's do a comparison with the custom tender and the real tender. The number two on this tender and the stripes look pretty big. Um, my handwriting is somewhat not great, but that can be forgotten. I mean, I tried my best to make custom Edward, 
but this looks a lot more cleaner and more eye-pleasing now. And I'm kind of happy for Mattel. All right, so let's talk about the front of the locomotive. I mean, sure, it may look great, but there are some pros and cons here. Let's talk about the pros first. So the shade of blue is the same as Thomas and Gordon's, which is really awesome. I like how they've done the wheel arches here. Like, this is the same as this Edward, but the funnel's a little taller on this one. And if you notice, we'll talk about the wheels later, but these are so amazing. This is way less than the learning curve Edward. Like, these are on the top on, instead of on the side where the buffer beam would be. And the face... Once again, Mattel does a good job with making the CGI faces. I mean, they've done Edward's face so well. And Edward even has his name on the bottom. So, um, let's talk about the flaws here. The wheel configuration. This wheel configuration is kind of weird. I mean, Edward's not meant to have four wheels. He usually has, um, like, these two wheels on the back and the two little wheels on the front. I got inspired by Speedy Skip to make this modification, but the wheels make Edward look like the Learning Curve Edward. Don't get me wrong, the Learning Curve Edward was kind of cool, especially the old style face, but it was the wheel configuration that's bugging me. And he's got no dome. Never trust domeless engines, they are not respectable. I don't know why Mattel misplaced the dome, like, why were they so lazy to add a dome? I mean, they did it to Henry, so why couldn't they have done it to Edward? That's kind of sad, but these problems can be easily fixed. I could simply um, get one of these top, this wood chassis, like this came from James with six wheels, and just cut off this chassis and um, cut the chassis off this part and just get some take play wheels, remove them from the tender and just put them on the front, like glue them on the front and glue the chassis here. That's just a simple modification. Anyone could do this if they ask for some grown-ups help or if they are more old enough to know. I mean, I'm not saying this wood Edward's bad. I mean, I love Edward. He's one of my favorite characters. And in the CGI series, in the US, he's voiced by William Hope. And in the second, uh, the UK era, he's voiced by Keith Wickham. Those actors are great for Edward, but Train Boy 17 likes Keith Wickham. So who do you prefer for voicing Edward? William Hope or Keith Wickham? Tell me in the comments below. And what do you think of Wood Edward here? Do you think Mattel did a great job or do you despise the flaws like the four wheels and the no dome here? So, not much I can say about Edward. That's all I have to say. But he's a very satisfying train to have. And I do look forward to using him in future episodes of Thomas and Lee's Equestrian Adventures. He beats some um, this 3D print Edward by a long shot, and I think I'll turn this into Mickey the Rescue Engine from Victor Tanzig. Hey, well, that's all I've got to say about Edward. So let me know what you guys think about Edward. And if you do not have Edward, for those of you who are interested, you can buy Edward on Amazon. He's only $16. So, um, if you guys um, think I should buy another engine, which character do you think I should do? And it's just saying Thomas Wood Customs. Like, I'm going to be making Mickey the Rescue Engine, as well as um, Carter, my main OC, um, Elise, Leo. The customs I mentioned in my um, update video. But you can suggest more. Like, there's more customs that E-Tomb is making, like Ravana, Black Widow. I would like to make those characters one day. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching this Wood Edward. And I hope you will stay tuned for more videos on Tammy Tate 2009.